Welcome to our Elysian space. Our Finca Esperanza is in the Alicante region of Spain. We have a lot of land to try to work and gardens to improve and update. The Finca sadly has none of her traditional qualities remaining. They were removed or covered over in the 1980s. So please come along with us and follow our story as we try to complete all the inherited projects and try to transform her back into her former glory. Wow, that's another beast, another beast. Okay, now it's really cooled down it's okay to work outside. Uh, the last bits I've got to do, I've got to put the caps on this wall. Then it's got to be rendered, obviously. And I've got to finish this little bit here of the wall to continue along with that one there. So that's my job today. We took out that stump there just filled it in with hardcore and that, put a bit more in there. Then concrete over this. And let's crack on with that. I'm gonna recover this second chair. Um, I did the first one a little while ago. Excuse the puppies in the background. <laughs> hey babies! Hey babies! 
Hey babies, hey Ilsa, hey Ilsa. Hey Pearl. Hey Pearl. Okay, so back with this. I'm gonna recover this. You've seen the process before. I will just show you the after results. I have covered um, another chair. Let me see if I can find it. Yes, one of these ones out here. One was already done. This one was already done. And I've managed to clean it up, so I'm really pleased with that. And this one I did fresh. So, yeah, I did that um, last week or the week before, I think. So, that's cool. We have to wait until the paparoos go before we can finish off those two back walls there. Um, but that's fine, because that gives us plenty of time to consider our actual options and what we really do want to do. But back to this, let me get going. Okay, all finished. Gonna pop it back in the chair and see if there's another one I can do which doesn't need the extra fluff. At the moment, I'm trying to find the white covering fabric. Um, so yeah, let's go and have a look. Okay, that bit of wall is done. Now, started to fill in this hole where the tree stump was. Now I'm gonna get these caps on this wall and on that one there. Right. Lobo's come to help. Hey Lobo. I need one more raw plug. Oh, got it? Yeah, but it's awkward drilling on this stuff. This is like um, cake mix. Cake mix and bumpy. 70s. 70s cake mix. But I need to fit that on there. Okay. There's vent. Yep. Vent with a mosquito net. Oh, that's cool. On it as well. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Well, we've got one puppy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Opal. Oh gosh, it's got six drill holes. Yeah, of course it has. Right, okay. I suppose it's quite a big... <laughs> no, when I say of course it has, it's, yeah. It couldn't have had just four, could it? No. But yeah, that's okay. So it was, it's been a job that I've not really... Wanted to do. Wanted, even though it's a, just a little job, but I knew that drilling it's going to be fun and games. Uh, it's all right in the end. I have to put a little bit of mastic around the edge. Okay. So the mozzies can't get in. Mm -hmm. I spy a papparoo and she's right behind you. filled this hole with as much, I don't know, um, stuff <laughs> as he can. Um, yeah, and he's put some, down some steel mesh. And then I'm assuming the next stage will be the cement, just to make sure it's, it's level so we can actually drive over it instead of heading down a hole. So that's great, absolutely perfect. This is the garden as it is, after two of the puppies have gone. They do like laying in those and ripping that to shreds. And the grasses. And as you can see, this one here was absolutely beautiful, flowering profusely. They have totally destroyed it. This plant as well, the ga I think it's, that one's called a gaura. They've destroyed it. You can see the little puppy puppy bum prints where they sit in that one well over here they have actually helped me get a lot of the uh, weeds out but they do enjoy digging holes as well so yeah when the last little puppy goes we'll uh, start again I guess okay hopefully you guys can actually hear me the wind is starting to pick up I think it might actually I have actually started collecting all the little um, plants that the puppies have broken off. Luckily most of them are succulents, so I've popped them in the pot. Hoping we can get a few more plants. These are doing okay, these were the first ones to get knocked off. Seem to be doing okay. So yeah, fingers crossed. Okay, Peter's done a magnificent job of popping all the caps on absolutely fantastic they're now on secured properly the whole way down and around bless him next up is to um, render the whole way around which is not only this side here but it is all this this can I make it down all of this and then if we can just pull that plant a little bit forward when he does it all of this now I know he has mentioned before but for those of you that are new to the channel 
we're not digging the fish pond here this is actually going to be where the stairs are going to be coming down into this lower terraced area um hi nikki boo hello nikki those little bricks there are purely there for the puppies because I didn't want them falling down. When we first got them, they were so tiny. They were only six weeks old. Um, they're now 11 weeks, so yeah, doing really well. The last little one is heading off Friday. So that's good. There's the bananas over there that were there when we moved in. Got some more. Um... Oh my goodness, I can't think what it's called in in English um, soil soil in a bag I can't think what it's called this is one of the new plants that we bought uh, I call it a rubber plant so but yeah you can see it's rained dirty rain lovely that's why the cars need cleaning again but yeah this is doing really well actually and it's got a lot of lovely new growth coming on it as well so yeah this is a new leaf here with another one coming just can you see it just in there? I'm really happy actually with this. It seems to like where it is. So everything's great. And as for the lemon tree, it is smothered, absolutely smothered in lemons. Just waiting for some of the lemons to actually turn yellow. We should be able to use it. Have to try and think what on earth we're gonna do with, with all the lemons. If you have any decent ideas, pop them in the comments. That'll be amazing. Tomorrow we're going to have a go at putting the screen up, glass screen. Right, okay, now all the caps are on. Now I'm going to do the task of rendering this wall here. It's quite a big wall. Um, I've got this blue mesh for strengthening I've got to put on as well. So that's my next job. Don't know how long it's going to take, but let's make a start on that now. mix on the wall first before I put the blue mesh on makes it a bit easier this is the first 
first coat, so it doesn't really matter too much about it being smooth. My goodness, I was only gone for one and a half hours. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh no, it might have been a bit longer. Yeah. Wow. Kind of just got on with it, really. Yeah? Yeah. This is stage one. Yeah? Yeah. Stage one, mesh. First, first coat. Do you need me to hold that? No, it's okay. No. Okay. And it's good that this is in the shade, actually. Because well, although it is cooler, but the sun is still, yeah, that's still why quite I chose warm. The side yeah. To start with. Okay. And you managed to do that all the while looking after two puppies and three other dogs. I know, mate. I know. I, I'm impressed. Looks good, yeah? Yeah. Stage two is collar in it? Uh, no, just the, just the second coat of this uh, monocapper. Ah. It's different stuff. Oh, okay, okay. This is for outside? Yeah. Yes, okay. Well, I have to say, it looks really good. So, yeah. be good to see it when it's finished. Yep. I'm gonna leave you to it. How's it going? Yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. My gosh, I actually didn't think you'd be able to do it all in one day. And I'm being serious. It's not, it's not done yet. No, but honey, it nearly is. Yeah. But I will have to put this camera down in a minute because I've lost all three of the puppies. Yeah, all right. <laughs> We're not lost. I can hear them. Yeah, I say I can hear them, but I've got to go and find them. Yeah? See you in a minute. Okay, it is about half past seven, quarter to eight. I think Peter is still out here um, working on this. This wall is pitch black, to be honest, but he's got so he's got lights. <laughs> So this is the finished article. Poor Peter was out here yesterday evening. 
up until what time was it Peter? 11 o'clock with lights finishing off this most spectacular wall that must have been such hard work because that is one vast stretch of wall but you did it yeah yeah today you're going to take it a little bit easier clean up operation yeah, yeah. Okay. one of the little puppies is going today little opal um, we have got Elsa back for a short time, but we will uh, find her a new home as well. I'm going to leave you to clean up. Yeah, if you need anything, let me know. I'm going to. F the puppies are being far, far, far too quiet, and when they're quiet, you know they're doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful sunrise, by the way, behind you. Magnificent. I see the big dogs are with you, hiding from the puppies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Peter has filled the hole. Uh, I think it took two or three barrel loads of cement, actually. So, and we're a bit concerned because the puppies can still get under the wheelbarrows. So we don't really want puppy prints in it. And I do not need to be cleaning it off their feet. Let's see if we can find some bits. It's in place, now I've got to fix it and seal it. Hi now. A little bit of sloping water in here. Yeah. And hopefully this seal goes in a little bit easier. Yeah. Right, let's try that now. good how it clips into place but we needed soapy water to do it but no, I'm getting the hang of this now I thought it was gonna give me blisters but I think we'll be all right now there yeah, that's yeah let's just get this done oh, it's not clicking anymore See that? Just need the right tools. Paintbrush. A while hasn't it really for us it has yeah how long have we had these puppies too long <laughs> things no, a five, long time really about five weeks five, five weeks. weeks coming up to six weeks maybe um it's foolish it's foolish of me no, hand just, up hand up i took two then i took two more they're a lot of work they are a lot of work and hence 
everything else really has come to a grinding halt. Yeah, but they're, they're they off to new homes bit. soon. So one's being picked up, another one's being picked up today. Yes, that's that's good. Unfortunately, we did have one come back. No fault of the dog, no fault of the new parents at all. It's just circumstances and landlords. Yeah. So, yeah, sadly, yeah. we've got little Elsa back, but we will so be looking for back. another home for her. Yeah. And obviously, Ebony, the little black one, we are keeping. We are, yeah. <laughs> Say it with a smile. Ebbs. <laughs> Ebbs, yeah, so we're keeping Ebbs. Yeah. So, yeah, but this is a longer video this time. Uh, we've managed to get a few bits done. Yeah? Yeah, we have. So, as you can Hopefully see. Hopefully, we can get back onto things, get back onto work. <laughs> Yeah. and try to improve this place yeah this yeah. wall's turned out quite nice it did take a long time yes but yeah it's okay it is okay we've just got loads more to do yes that's lobo barking by the, the dogs gate. are off seeing someone down at the gate <laughs> hey but the yeah so yeah we hope that now like peter says we're going to get back into it back doing one a week yeah if we can yeah one a week because things should be getting easier and, uh, and get back to doing yes. a little bit more work yeah yeah fingers crossed fingers crossed inside and out now it's not quite so warm yeah it's nice so, outside it's yeah. not too cold and yeah, yeah it's, it's the heat cool. is not here yeah it's brilliant so yeah thanks for watching guys and um see you next time see you next time